an organisation called Engage for Life. So welcome to the programme. Dan, or Daniel O'Donnell, or Dodd, as his friends know him, uh, Tom Francis and Dave Walker. Hello, guys. Hi, guys. How are you? Yeah, I can find nervous. Yeah, very nervous. No need, it's only me. <laughs> and only a few microphones and only a few people listening. And that's the point, because this is for a very important cause. And it's going to be a whole load of entertainment and fun as well. Uh, first off, I, I wanted to kind of know what Engage for Life uh, is all about. Um, so, so, so give us a little bit on that, Dave. Tell us about it. Uh, Engage for Life is a government-funded initiative where they take a load of teenage students, mm -hmm. be, usually aged between 15 to 18, and get them involved in different various activities. So like, we go on trips down to Wales for a week where we have a load of fun, and then the next week it's more serious and finding ways in which we can make better for the community. Yeah. So... I yeah. like that, because that, that is what the perfect balance of a perfect world would be. People yeah. doing some really positive stuff and enjoying themselves and actually giving a bit back to help others to do that. That's, in essence, right. what you're about, right? Yeah. How long have you been involved with it, Engage for Life? Uh, for us three, we've been involved since... Six weeks-ish? Roughly about six weeks, because we started in the October half term, uh -huh. where we went up to Condover Hall yeah. for a week, where we did various team-building exercises and then the social action side, which is what we're finishing off tomorrow. Jolly, jolly good. How did you get involved with it? Uh, they, they started off, they, they were coming around colleges and schools doing some recruiting, uh -huh. and I saw them and I just thought, you know what, this, this looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. So I signed myself up and go away, and I didn't realise exactly how much fun I'd have from it and how much that Engage for Life has taught me and a lot about myself and it's got me involved in a project that I didn't think I'd be able to do before. Good. It sounds positive. You've all come in here. They were stood waiting beyond a, a glass screen uh, in the middle of the studio and all of them just full of life and, and, and just looking really motivated and up for doing something really positive. Um, this is kind of the point where I'll bring in Tom Francis because uh, you're, you're all kind of engaged as part of Engage for Life with yeah. this thing called the Rider Festival. Tell us, what is that? What is the Rider Festival? Well, we all sat down and we, we just had a discussion and we thought, well, what what are the public's perception of teenagers? Mm -hmm. uh, and generally, it's very um, it's very negative, um, and we come across quite violent and aggressive. Uh, so we wanted we wanted to show the public and uh, and people that we're not all bad. Um, so we thought we'd put on a music festival um, in aid of uh, the Sue Rider Care, uh, which is breast cancer, mm -hmm. and uh, the festival it's a wacky music based event uh, in aid of the charity. Uh, we're uh, what am I going to say? Um, we're, we're running the festival, um, obviously, for breast cancer, and it's, it's it's a good way to raise awareness of cancer mm -hmm. uh, because it also brings like family and friends together as a big community to have fun and raise money. Lovely. Where's it happening? Uh, it's happening in, in the Green Centre in Dines Green. Um, on, on Friday, right? On, yeah, tomorrow. Oh, good Lord. Are you yeah. ready for it? Are you all prepared, tomorrow, guys? Yeah, tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow from 1 till 7. So. Is, it, is it free for people to come along? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's uh, free to come in. And uh, we're doing a tombola where we've got uh, lots of different prizes from uh, lots of different places around Worcester. Do you know what I love? I love how you blow a, a real... Something that really gets my goat. Now, if you're, if you're a little girl and you love pink... That's fine, isn't it? That's lovely, right? But what annoys me is if a little boy loves pink, then people can have a laugh about it. You've come in wearing your Cerise pink T-shirt. There's nothing Get wrong with a spirit. bit of pink. There is nothing wrong with a bit of pink for boys and girls. I like it. I'm liking your style. So they've got their pink T-shirts on, saying something that says, uh, Team Boob. On that note, I shall bring in Dan O'Donnell. Hello, Dan. Hiya. So what is Team Boob? Right, Team Boob... Um, what does it, that stand for? Well, it stands for Boys Out on Business. Right, so you mean business to raise money for, for this breast cancer charity, right? Yes. Good, liking it. So how did you come up with the concept? Well, it was um, a pretty weird conversation. I was in uh, my boss's car, Stuart, mm -hmm. and um, we were thinking of... Well, we came up with Team Boob. Mm -hmm. And Stuart was thinking of boys out on, and mm -hmm. I randomly came out with business. Mm -hmm. So we all thought, yeah, we like it. Mm -hmm. So I, I came back to Dave and uh, Tom, and I said, we'll trick a boys out on business. And, yeah. 
We liked it, didn't we? It's brilliant. Pretty stuff. good. Oh, yes. Good, 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 good. So this community event at the Green Centre, Dines Green, this Rider Festival. What? Tell us a bit more about the entertainment that's happening then. You say it's a, a wacky music event, right? Tell yeah. us about some of the music that's going um, on. So we've got live bands playing, mm -hmm. um, such as Time of the Mouth. Uh, we've got a uh, single act called uh, Billy Francis. Mm -hmm. uh, he's not related to me, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> as I would have wished. Um, but he's really, really good. Uh, he's a singer-songwriter, writes all of his own stuff. Yes. Um, yeah, really, really great singer. Um, Super. We've also got Sheridan Smith. Um, no, it's Sheridan Gorman. Gorman, sorry. I don't know why I said Smith. Um, <laughs> and, um, yeah, uh, she was in the talent show at college, and the first minute she started singing, it just absolutely blew me away. It was yeah. amazing. So lots of local talent there. Yeah. DJs, yeah. you've got karaoke, there's kids' entertainment and refreshment and stalls and a bouncy castle, and this prize draw to help raise some money uh, for the Sue Ryder Cancer Charity in aid of breast cancer. Bringing the community together and giving young people a platform to do something positive and to actually show the world that actually... Do you know what the problem is? Uh, too often, I think, the media can just talk about the negative stories, and they have to report that, of course course but we should also balance that with yeah. all of the many yeah. many positive stories coming out of uh, young people and youth groups today so i want to take my hats off to you and say good luck thank you i yeah, hope yeah. it goes very very well indeed remind us when and where it's happening again uh, it's happening at the green center in dines green tomorrow brilliant between um, one and seven just go along yeah and just on a final note we would like to thank nathan from the co-op who's quite happily donated matt i'm sorry matt <laughs> matt <laughs> no, from the co-op who quite happily donated us a uh, big bundle and we'd like to thank companies like uh, we don't do too many companies i'm afraid on the bbc uh, but i'm sure there's been plenty yeah, of we, local we'd companies like to thank all the companies that have quite been happily very donated we just uh, thank our bosses as well just to help us uh, get get involved and yeah just big thanks to those guys out there yeah. jolly good you see they're very polite bunch see young yeah, people are nice without, without <laughs> them we wouldn't what? be sat here and okay and one more, more thing yeah. um whoever uh, is coming to the event tomorrow please wear an item of pink Lovely, yes. Yeah, lovely. Yes, get your pink on, go along and support Dines Green tomorrow, 1 till 7, in aid of the Sue Ryder charity. If you want to go along at the Green Centre, they'd love to see you. Good luck with it, guys. Thank Hope you it goes much. really well. Just before we do go, um, Tom, you, you, you've been in Spain for about 10 years. Yeah. Just just um, introduce this next song in Spanish for me. Uh, it's, it's David Bowie at BBC Hereford and Worcester. Uh, vale, uh, está David Bowie. And uh, BBC, Hereford and Worcester. Hey! <laughs> <laughs>